Okay. Okay, so we're recording now. Okay, so where do I start? Uh, let me start off with sponsors. Um, I have managed to secure another four sponsors this weekend. Uh, so that brings us to about $8,000 in terms of revenue. Has anybody got any great on, on potential sponsors? I've been trying Gertrude. I was just talking to the ladies prior some suggestions and um, I was they were just telling me about the tables and um, being able to use the additional rooms. So I think that could be helpful as well. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay. Rachel, have you managed to secure anything? Um so I was just telling the ladies today that I plan to um, reach out to some different acupuncture clinics and some different people today. And my plan is just to kind of cold call. Um, I know a lot of these people, I have been in marketing and in these kind of industries before, and I know they want to be at these events and have their tables set up and have these opportunities, but they just might not know where we're going on. So I'm going to call around and, um, you know, reach out today and see who I can get. I think the table's a really great thing. I think a lot of people are going to want it. So that's kind of my plan today. And I reached out to another friend who, um, is from Santa Fe and she is married to a, a high powered attorney and they have a lot of connections and she was really excited. I asked her about a keynote speaker opportunity and we're going to speak today and I'm just going to see if she has any ideas for me and she actually might want to fly out to speak um, at least. But that's kind of my update. Um, just trying to do a lot of networking and see who I can talk to. So, um, and then I also spoke to somebody who has a connection at St. Pius High School, and that's a private school. And I was going to invite um, the young ladies from that school as well. So I'll be calling them today too. Sounds good. And can I? Yes, yeah, Santa Fe is a really good idea. I was actually going to see if anybody in the group could. Um, call shops in Santa Fe, especially jewelry shops, shops that have women's product. I think. Yeah, I can help idea. with some of that too. And I live near Old Town, so I, you know it's easy for me um, to reach out down there as well. Okay, that sounds good. I've also um, I'm meeting with the person who runs the grounds at Mesa de Sol find out what our parameters are outside the building for vendors as well. So I'm meeting with them tomorrow morning and I'll give you guys feedback because that could increase our space. We can you know, do whatever you want inside the building, but I'm just not sure how much access we have to the outside. And what about you, Cynthia? I have not had a chance. We're getting ready to launch new startups inside our company. So I've been working on a ton of legal stuff, but, um, one thing I was just sharing with Rachel about 500 opportunity, I want to make sure we go back and remind everybody that if they know people interested in participating, they can pay $500 and also do a seminar. So I think that's a word we really need to get out because I think that's a great opportunity. Yes. Right. What I've done is I've hired a virtual assistant now managing all of the authors who have registered and she's talking to them as well. And see okay. if interested in running a workshop. So that's um, that's already happening as well. As far as the speakers who've signed up, we're talking to them one on one and offering them that opportunity. So that's on the sponsorship. We finalized on the caterer. It's a woman-run small catering business. She's based here in Albuquerque. Uh, Thing is called Bobby's Homestyle Cooking. I met her at a charity event. Absolutely amazing young woman in terms of what she offers. So she's going to be our caterer. So she threw in all the teas, the coffees, muffins, biscuits for free. Wow. This contract and her meals uh, for the two days are coming in at $8.70 a meal. 
Wow, that's, that's reasonable. reasonable. It is really good. So we actually went out to the venue um, last week on Friday so I could show her the space. We decided how we're going to lay out the tables for the eating area and how we'll stagger people to come in maybe a hundred at a time. And now I've kind of got my head around exactly how we'll lay out the eating space um, on the three levels of the building uh, to accommodate everybody. So I'm going to have to draw up a few diagrams just so I can, I can show all of you, you know, what that would look like visually um, on the day, especially for people who haven't come to the premises. I just want to give you guys a feel. And I'll take a video while I'm there tomorrow that I'll share with everybody as well. The food is finalized. As far as the cocktail party is concerned, uh, I managed to talk them to remove the rental space for the, they're not charging us for the space they're just charging us for the drinks and the hors d'oeuvres so that brought our bill down to a thousand nine hundred dollars about yeah about fifteen thousand all up on that the other revenue stream that i've managed to generate is through the video recording of all of the speakers um, so I've hired three young men who will have a camera in every single room where people are speaking and the university was going to give me some flash drives because they want to market recruiting for the university and give everybody information on a flash drive so what we can do is use those flash drives to put these speakers videos and I'm thinking if we were to charge, say, $30, so each little clip can be edited and put on that um, drive, if we have 180 speakers, we can generate quite a bit of money just from the, the videos. Everybody wants to be recorded. Sure. So I've got some young men recording the, all the presentations. Um, We've talked about vendors. Facebook advertising is starting. It started this weekend. So what I'm going to do is please pay attention when anything comes out of our Facebook page to share it, to comment, mm -hmm. invite people to the event page as well. Because the more likes we get, the more the people we invite to the page, the more visibility we'll have online. Right. So I am going into a small recording studio just down the road from where I live. There's a charter school that specializes in film, and somebody had asked me to go and do some lectures there. And I've asked them to record me in studio, recording a number of little video adverts. Um, so I'll do one appealing to anybody who has a daughter who's in high school. So please subscribe. Your daughter can come for free. We'll just charge them for the meals, but not to attend the conference. I'll do another one appealing to young people at a university. Another one appealing to volunteers. And I think I'll target that at people over the age of 60. So people who've retired, who want something to do, can come and be volunteers and attend the conference as well. I'm going to try and record at least six short little videos seconds that we can push through uh, social media, through Facebook. And the thing is, I'm going to tag all of you in on those so you can share them as well. Go crazy this week. Awesome. A small budget. Exciting. Um, $20 a day on the Facebook advertising so we can do <clears> them. <throat> between now and and uh, so we've got about what 21 days now before the conference starts so that's something i'm working on this morning as far as speakers are concerned um we have had a phenomenal response the last time i looked we had about 89 speakers registered on the website and so I also hired another virtual assistant who went through all of my LinkedIn contacts and just started inviting people. And we have been slammed this weekend. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we are going to exceed the 180 speaking slots that we have. 
Oh my Great. goodness. It's That's outstanding. Very, very exciting. So, so then what we do now is convert those speakers to seminar presenters as vendors. Exactly. So, so my that, virtual assistant yeah, that I hired that, is just managing my LinkedIn profile contacts. So if any of you are open to us tapping into your LinkedIn profile contacts, if you don't have the time to do it, please let me know. And I'll get my VA to, I'll, I'll show you the advertisements, the, the little message that we're putting out to everybody. And especially people who are in state, because now we should be targeting more people who are in New Mexico and the United States. Overseas people are likely to take a longer, they need more time to decide to come to something in three weeks time. Right. You need to appeal to people in the country, people in the state. And, and see if they can um, come, come on board. I apologize for not sending out to everybody what I promised in terms of women's organizations that you can contact Rachel. Um, and I think um, Gordon, had, I had promised I'll do that. I will do it first thing after this call. So I had a list, Donna, of women's organizations given to me by the university okay all over the states that we can potentially invite ask them to share okay There's something called the uh new mexico women's economic forum okay apparently it's a group of women in business who earn a minimum of three million you can own wow. that group by invitation and I happened to have bumped into one of the members when I first arrived in Albuquerque. I had breakfast with her yesterday. So she's going to share what we're doing with her group and hopefully get a few of her members to participate as well. I also reached out to the president of the Women's President's Club. And she came to New Zealand just before I left to launch in New Zealand. Her is women who own businesses or run businesses that earn a minimum of five million annum. Wow. So Dr. Marsha Firestone has also agreed that she will share with her network what we're trying to achieve. Okay. Um what else do I have to report back? I think that's all I've got. Ah, oh, books. So we've been appealing to people who are authors that will have a bookstore. We have allocated one room for a bookstore. And this is a book that was given to us. I have 80 copies of this book by a lady who couldn't come to the conference. I don't even know Carrie, but I'm sharing this to thank her for donating 80 books. They're worth about $1,400. And it's all about money. And it's called The Money Queen's Guide for Women Who Want to Build Wealth and Banish Fear. Oh. So what we're going to be doing with this is it will be given away to anyone who wants to attend the um, Financial Literacy for Women workshops. So there's two sponsors who've come on board to run those workshops. And anybody who signs up to their sessions will be given a free book. The other one that is going to give us free books is my partner and friend, uh, Yuka Yumisko, is coming and he's one of the main sponsors. He's given us about $4,000. And he is going to be running um, digital marketing, search engine optimization workshops for people. And he also has a book that he's giving away with anybody who signs up to that session. The other book that I want to try and see if I can get some copies printed and give away is called In My Shoes, My Magical Memoirs. This is written by a young man that I've been mentoring here in New Mexico. He's quadriplegic. And he can only move his head. He wrote this book by speaking it. And he is going to be the main speaker at the cocktail party. And it will cost me about $2.15 to print. And I was hoping that I could get enough money to print 250 copies to everybody coming to the cocktail party. And then put an envelope inside 
anybody wants to donate to help him set up his life as a speaker, you can give $10. It will go a long way to supporting this amazing young man. He is an inspiration. I'm actually doing a documentary on him. So if anybody's got any ideas how we can get Mark Anthony his book out, uh, please let me know. Okay. I need $2.15 a copy to print it. And then we'll give it away to every single person who comes to the cocktail party with an envelope, a donation envelope. He wants to start a okay. foundation to help parents with children of special needs to get time out because his dad cares for him. He's 32. Wow. And his father picks him up, puts him in the shower, washes him every day, cleans him if he goes to the toilet. And he said, yeah, you know, I just want to do something for my parents and for people with kids with special needs. Able to take a weekend away or just a night away from their kids. Amazing human being. So ideas, please. How can we get this out? Okay. I remember speaking at a conference once. Um, it was for dairy farmers in New Zealand who were committing suicide because there was a drought. And the mayor of this town invited me to come and speak. And I printed a thousand copies of my book that I gave away to all these dairy farmers. And I did the same thing. And I said, look, it's cost me $2 to print this book. I just want you to get away to as, as inspiration to just hang in it because things will get better. But if you have any loose change, it cost me $2.80 to print. My girlfriends were at the door with baskets. I made $10,000 that night. People just put all the loose change they had in their bags. It was amazing because I, give my, I sell my book as a fundraising tool, but I made $10,000 that night. So I'm thinking there'll be something in giving away the book. And supposedly right. start a speaking career and as a career as an author. So Excuse me, Gertrude. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but you know, I you had said that you're going to do these little advertising snippets. Yes. I mean, you're such an amazing speaker. Is it? I wonder if it'd be possible for you to even just have a leap, brief little snippet for donations, or if that's appropriate. Yes, actually. The six videos I was going to produce, one is about the donations because you know that we're trying to raise money to set up a scholarship fund for Native American kids to go to college, right? Right, right. So our mission is that every single year we get 100 people to donate $8,000 for food, accommodation, transport for these kids. So we are trying to create a scholarship fund that will raise 800000 a year. Wow. So we have between now and next year to give our first 100 recipients these scholarships. We have a year to achieve that goal. So that's, I was going to do an ad for that. Two, I will do an advertisement for Mark Anthony because he's going to be our keynote speaker. Oh, good. At the awesome. Party. Okay. Um, three, the high school students. There's a lot of parents who want their kids to be mentored, who wants them to be coached confidence and we can become mentors and create a mentoring program from this workshop for the young women who actually come. okay four it's the college age students five it's the volunteers so any other ideas ladies because i have an opportunity to record these this morning oh good no studio thank you for mentioning that donna Sure, of course, Ketri. Um, and then, of course, the participants. And basically, my reach out to people who are coming to attend the conference is, are you seeking inspiration and want to be connected to an international group of women who can not only help take your business to the next level, but create this global connection because I think the biggest strength that we have as a, a group what this conference brings is a global perspective right and that seems to be appealing to a lot of people to participate to tap into people from other countries as well absolutely so anything else you can think of I can go back and record 
This little studio is just five minutes from my house. Okay. Um, and then, of course, mentioning the drumming ceremony. And I'm going to also record a welcome video for everybody who's coming. It's basically saying, you know, welcome to New Mexico. We're really happy that you're joining us. We're excited to show you our amazing city. Um, and then all of the things that people should know about the conference. Because one of the things that was brought to my attention is that people are not registering at the Regency Hyatt. And the reason is they're able to book on booking, uh, I think it's called hotels.com for the same hotel at less than what they have offered us as a special. Okay. So I got hold of the, you know, Regency Hyatt and I said, look, you know, you're working against us. People are not registering because they can get your hotel rates cheaper. So they've gone on and they have reduced it further, I think. I have Rachel who's been negotiating with them to make that happen. Um, but what else do I need to let people know? So one, they have to understand the transport issues when they come, that we've deliberately chosen that hotel. Downtown, they don't need a, a go anywhere, they don't need anywhere for dinner. And two, we are offering the free shuttle. Okay. Um, three, I'm making them aware of the drumming ceremony and encouraging people to buy a drum. So if you haven't bought your drum, please go online and purchase your drum because we need to give the drum makers time to get these done by the um, 22nd. Gertrude, I'm not finding the link to buy the drum and then I reached out to Jessica and she looked and couldn't find it either. So I'm not sure where to buy it. I'm sorry. So when you registered, you got a letter from India with links. An email or, or an actual letter? No, no, email. Okay. Everything is being done via email. So if you look in that... Uh, thank you for registering email. Okay. There are links to where you book the hotel, where you pay for your participation. Okay. Let me know if it's not there. Okay. They couldn't put my PayPal codes on their website. Uh -huh. They picked up that it, my, my account is from New Zealand and they wouldn't let them use my PayPal codes on their website. So I put them on my website instead. Okay. So it's on GetrudeMache.com under Events New Mexico. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. And even for you, uh, Donna, I know you're not coming. Yes. You could send you yes. a pair of drums. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can get a drum. My kids would love that. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be amazing because we will have that musical ensemble called Tribal Rhythms at the end just to tie everything up, create a musical piece we can use. And people can go home with that drum beat in their hearts. That's what it symbolizes and it's very relevant to the group of students we're helping this year. No, it's great symbolism yeah. and vibration. So that's all I have to report back really. I have thousands of business cards. I'm hitting on anyone Every day, if I'm in a cafe, if I'm in a supermarket, I have my bunch of flyers and I'm handing them out and getting an amazing response. I was in the Flying Star yesterday and there were three women sitting to my left and I left all my cards behind. I didn't have my handbag. I was just having breakfast and I just plucked up the courage to talk to them. And one of them is the first New Mexican judge to um, fight for domestic violence. I think she's the first New Mexican domestic violence judge. And so she's agreed to come and speak, which is so relevant. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that's fantastic. So you just Being... don't know who you're bumping into. Just talk to random strangers and tell them about the conference. Okay, fantastic. Um, Cynthia, tell me what's happening with the social media stuff that you've attached. Well, I've been putting 
out there on Twitter and kind of just passing on what I've seen other people do. I know you were going to talk to somebody who's going to help us set up a strategy. Were you able to connect with him? Yeah, so he's the young man who started the Facebook advertising. They do charge a lot to manage things. It's 250 a month. Oh, wow. Okay. So what I've asked him to do is to guide my virtual assistant. So I've asked him to come back with a price just to set it up. But he is managing Facebook. I've told him to run with Facebook. But the other platforms, we're going to have to use a VA to do that. Okay. So if we can set it up, I'll get a virtual assistant to manage. Okay. There is so get your girl uh, based in Trinidad who's a social media uh, manager of social media platforms. And I'm trying to do a barter deal because she wants to come to the Grenada conference. And so we might do an exchange that she helps manage for free and attends Grenada for free. So I'm talking to her to, uh, this week as well. And if she says yes, then I'll connect you with you, Cynthia. So Gertrude, is the, the Facebook um, that he had put together, the um, advertisement, is that up and running yet? I need to double back to him. I, I created all the events because he told me to create all the events and give him access. So he would say he would start on Saturday. Okay. I'll check, and what I will do is tag all of you. Perfect. Ads that have been reached, so you can push them out as well. All right. Very good. Is there anything else, ladies, um, that you feel we need to discuss? Oh, delegation of tasks on the actual day. Let's just have a little chat about that so I can document a list of things that need to be done and who we can delegate each thing to on the three days. So number one, we need a volunteer coordinator. Um, we actually need to create, I think, 10 sets of volunteers of 10 people. Number one, we need people volunteering around registration. Number two, we need someone volunteer, people volunteering around transportation of guests between the different venues. Three, we need volunteers around the food. Four, we need volunteers to show people ushers where the toilets are, um, the different rooms. So what we've done is we've named all the rooms with the name of one of the Peblos. And in the welcome pack that everybody gets, they will get a map because all the rooms are on three levels in this building. Um, but we need people to guide people to the right room. So we need to have all of the rooms pro properly labeled. Um, so we need to print signs. And a large map. Okay. I managed to talk to DJ Heckles is a lady who runs the B2B Expo in Albuquerque. She had an event last week, so I met her at that event. And she will help us print a, a big banner for our reception desk. And she's also helping me with finding uh, companies that can hire out furniture at a low cost. So once I get an idea of where we can put tables, especially for lunch outside the building, then I'll approach companies that could we could potentially hire tables from or get them for free if possible. I'm thinking of talking to the Canyon Club to see if they could give us their, some of their tables for free because I know the owner. So the printing of banners... What else needs to be done on the day? 
in terms of volunteer coordination. Ah, we need a first aid oh. kit and room. Um, so if anybody's not feeling well, you actually need to find someone in the team who is a nurse or uh, what do you call them? First aid. What am I? Thinking? Like an e EMT? Yes. That's going to be necessary. We also need to make sure that we remind people to drink water. And I might just put that in the welcome video. Because people who are not used to coming to the desert and to high altitude um, need to be reminded to keep yourself hydrated. Albuquerque is quite, quite high up. What else okay. can you think of in terms of volunteers? Mm. Things that no. need to be done on the day. The thing is to really think about... Um, we, we talked a bit about uh, we were going to have a procedure for the person who is going up before they were going to introduce the person coming up next. And so just making sure we have that explained to whoever's helping people. Okay. We also need a run sheet for the opening and closing sessions um, so that we keep speakers on time in terms of their presentations. We're keeping all of the speeches for 15 minutes. We're not giving anybody an hour to speak. Otherwise, people tend to ramble and they tend to gobble up all the time. So all of our keynote speakers are only speaking for 15 minutes. We also need a team to set up the rooms, you know, tables, tablecloths, and then take everything down. And Kirkland Air Base, I need to double back with uh, Sharissa. She was talking to Kirkland Air Base because apparently they have volunteers who come in and do things like that. They can come into an event, help you set up, and after right. the event, they help you take everything down and clear out as well. Okay. Um, Gertrude, is there, um, excuse me, Ed, like, um, I know when, often when we're doing our presentations, somebody will kind of give somebody a signal, although I have signs, like if they have 15 minutes, let them know they're 10 minutes in, five minutes in, especially if somebody's kind of new to it, it kind of helps keep them on track and know when to start um, concluding their speeches. Yeah, we're going to have a moderator in every room. Awesome. And the moderator is normally the lead or the co-lead for that session. Okay. So the person who starts to speak becomes the moderator, who does the first presentation. Right. Becomes the moderator. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Um, the, the other thing that we need to put in the welcome bags, and I will need you to all email me your contact telephone numbers. We need to give everybody contact numbers in case they need to talk to someone so that not one person is going to be slammed with calls. We need a copy of the timeline in our goodie bag. We need a copy of the seating plan. Um, I've been asking everybody in the welcome email if they have any allergies or dietary requirements. Um, things to do with emergency, where all the emergency exit doors are within the building. Um, things that we need behind the scenes. Let me see. We need to make sure we've got garbage disposal bins, a lot of bins throughout the, the, the building. Um, what else? 
one of the things that I was hoping to do that we could give people in the goodie bags are things like hand sanitizers or maybe we could have certain points in the building where we have a big bottle big bottles of hand sanitizing stuff uh, what do you call it you know what I'm talking about right yeah, yeah like you get on cruise ships they have a place where you go in a room or like enter the dining room you can get that hand like Prell or whatever maybe one of those companies would sponsor it or something or you know have one of those places where you can I don't know if they rent those out or what, but I've seen them like in, you know, big building stuff or you go to shopping carts, there's a place where you can put some on your hand before you touch the yeah. shopping cart. Yeah, because we're going to have a lot of people in the, in the same space, so we need to make sure people are constantly sanitizing. Um, one of the other things that was suggested is maybe to go to Costco's and buy a whole lot of granola bars to put in everybody's goodie bag so they can stay, you know, snacking if they need to snack. Right. Um, water bottles was another suggestion. Right. Um, sunscreen lotion is going to be hot in May. New Mexico can get quite hot. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the hand sanitizer. And also things to tell people um, when they come to the conference. Things like not using too much scented perfumes. Right. That's really important. That is really, really important, you know, that cologne-free, perfume-free zones. That's got to be crucial because sometimes you can go and to a, an event and somebody's just got a very strong scent. Uh, I'm just going to put that in my... Yeah, and just, I think companies now are putting so much stuff in there that it, I'm, my husband and I are both deathly allergic to colognes and perfumes, so it's very hard for us. So I think that is, I think that's something everybody should be talking about these days. Because I think they put so much stuff now in colognes and perfumes that they don't realize it's, it's created a sensitivity in our population for people. Yeah, I think we have to be very much aware of that. There is a dentist, the dentist who actually brought me to Albuquerque, he gives his uh, people um, lip balm. <laughs> Everybody who goes into his uh, office and also the Albuquerque film office. I must talk to Ann Lerner and see if I can get some lip balm for everyone. That would be awesome. Yeah, to put in all of their bags. And also just tissues. Ooh, Those that's a good one. Tissues. Mm -hmm. And maybe some mints. So I'm just thinking oh, right. we can put inside the, the bags. You know, kind of staples that everybody needs inside the goodie bags. We're gonna have to work out a small budget on that. Um Okay, so I'm also looking at another document that I downloaded in terms of an event planning, planning a successful event. And on here, it talks about, you know, setting your goals, making sure our guest list, um, I'll email you the people who have said yes already to the guest list. We need to get more things to give away. I have a couple of gift baskets, but I think we could do more in terms of door prizes and giveaways. We also need to organize mix and mingle events. Um, out of working hours, just to encourage people to have little meetup groups, perhaps, or have dinner together. Do you have any other ideas around that? That would be good. I'm trying to get one um, of those. Uh, you know, this is there in Albuquerque, and you might want to swing by there and see if you're willing to put together a goodie basket, like with some of their wines and stuff. Who's that? Cynthia? Yes, that, yes, I said to get a basket of wine from uh, St. Clair's 
which is a restaurant there in town, near Old Town in Albuquerque. And they're a vineyard here. So I think that might be a great way to, um, you know, kind of showcase New Mexico wines. So they might be willing to put together or donate wines for a goodie basket. Could you give them a call and then I could always go and pick up if they say yes? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Sure. Yeah. If anybody else knows any other wine companies, I know Jessica had mentioned another wine company that was going to donate wine to the cocktail party, but we couldn't take it. Because we had okay. So I'll remind Jessica as well. Okay. That's a great, great idea. Ladies, uh, I'm so sorry. My phone's about ready to die. Okay, Donna. It was good Thanks. that you could come on the call. Yes, I'm going to start seeing, I actually, I, I'm kind of working a half day today doing things like this I need to do. So I'm going to see, I'm going to, I can't wait to see the Facebook page and I'll start promoting. Okay, I'll, my I, I'll, I'll invite you to the Facebook group so that you, you stay informed. Perfect. I appreciate that. Thank you, Gertrude. Bye, ladies. Thanks. Have so a bye. great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Bye. She's not even coming, but she's supporting us. It's a good cause. It's I'm trying awesome. to. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Gertrude. Bye bye. Bye. Um, so, we need to think about a day or two before the event things that we need to be prepared for. Um, I'm thinking, let's see. I guess going to the venue, if we've got flowers, we need to find somewhere where someone who could donate some flowers for tables and our main um, eating tables and our main table. So, Rachel, if you have any ideas around flowers, let me know so we can put on a few florists. Um, what else? What else can we get? Uh, I was wondering if we need walkie talkies for the day of the event for the days. Um, so that people who go, Hey, we're, um, they said that the bus broke down or, Hey, where's blow so-and-so do we need to do this or whatever, or I'm going to send over somebody who needs to know something about this. So. That might be helpful. Where would those be? Where would we get those from? I have no idea. I'm just trying to figure out so that all of the volunteers and coordinators have a way to reach each other because Actually, it sounds I, like I it's find larger out in the space. Film office because the film office, I mean, they do a lot of movies here and they use walkie talkies. Right. And so maybe we could. That's an idea because the cell phone reception at this place is, is, is terrible. Okay, I think that would be good. Well, especially for you and key people, if you can reach people instantly, I think that would be really helpful. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll find out. Um, yeah, what else? You've got my head spinning. <laughs> I know, I know, there's so much. This is why you have high blood pressure. I know. The thing is, I've been trying to just get things done, and it's just so much to think about. It is. It is. It's a big undertaking. There is a lot to remember. But we can do it. Yes. We can do it. So I think that's all I've got. Um, Rachel, unless there's anything else. Nope, I found have... the drum link, so I'm excited to order my drum, and I'll pass that on to people who've been asking. And yeah, thanks for all your hard work. I appreciate you. And I am actually, I, I'm the salt mama, so I use salt in my healing practice, and Epsom salt can lower your blood pressure. So if you have a bath at the house that you're at, please buy yourself some Epsom salt and take one every day, and if you can get 20 minutes, I know it'll feel like a lot, but just a little self-care, and literally the magnesium in the Epsom salt will help lower your blood pressure, so I'm sending you lots of support and love, and just please reach out. What, what, 
you know, I'll hop in with what I've heard today, but if there's anything else, please send a text, a message, you know, SOS. <laughs> I'm here for you. Thank you so much. And thank you both for being on the call. Yes. Happy here. All right. We'll Hi. catch up on Wednesday. Okay. Sounds see you then. Okay. Uh -huh. Everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.